Hey, what's up, race fans? This is Ryan Sanders coming at you from the conclusion of round one of the AMA SRT National Heron Hound Youth Championship presented by Bike Week Radio Show. Eric Kudla did a great job today. We had three different races, two 30-minute races, one hour-long race, and we had about 66 riders today, which is actually double of what they had at the first round. The first race was the 50cc bikes, and in this race, we actually had about nine, well, about 15 entries in this one. 15 50cc bikes going about three miles. Took them about 10 minutes per lap, but they did a great job. It was a lot of fun. The winner in that race was Wyatt Zeters. He did a great job and looked good out there. The second race of the day was for the Micro 65cc and the Girl Riders. Uh, they rode the same three-mile loop. Uh, they were a little bit faster, bigger bikes, bigger tires on the girls, and they had a little bit quicker lap times. They did about, you know, about eight-minute laps in that one for three miles. And, it was a good, fun race. Um, it came down to the end, and, and the winner in that race was actually our women's champion from last year was Caitlin Kurt. She took first overall in that race. Um, second overall was Eric Burdell, who was the winner in the 65cc class. So, you know, we had a lot of competition. I believe that we actually had well, about... 28 riders in that race so good turnout a lot of fun a lot of 65s that'll be moving up next year at the end of the race eric kudlow is with us and he got to interview the winners of the race let's take a look and see how that went. Hi, this is eric kudlow chairman of the national youth Heron hound series and we're here with caitlin kurtz who just got her first girls 65 overall and we're here with eric burdell who just won the 65 class and caitlin how was it out there Hi. <laughs> uh it was pretty nice uh, I really like the rocks and the soft sand, and uh, I'd like to congratulate everybody out there. They did a really good job, and I would just like to thank my dad and all my sponsors um, that helped me through this first Youth National Hair and Hound race. All right, awesome. Eric, how is that race out there? Uh, what did you think of the course? Uh, the track was nice. I got a good start. I just tried to hang it up in front. Uh, I got past, then first went down, so I just tried hanging him off, and then I saw Ashley pass me, so I just tried hanging with her, but yeah, the track was nice and stuff. Where did she actually pass you? Was that when you fell? Uh, no, I didn't fall. First fell, because I was in second on the stone okay. stuff. Where did she make the pass on you? Uh, she made the pass on me through the sand section. Sand section? <laughs> I can't say it right. Awesome. So, you guys coming back to the next round and following the whole series? Yep. Awesome. All right, we're getting ready for the super mini race now. Number three saw the larger loop. We extended the course out to about seven miles, added a really technical section. Some of the riders were commenting it was kind of like Ayersburg. These little kids were flying their bikes up the rocks, holding on for dear life, or just letting the bike go to see if they can make it. Uh, it was really entertaining as a spectator. No one got hurt. All the kids had a lot of fun, so I think it was a win for everyone. You know, as the Heron Hound series, Eric's doing a great job. This is how these kids are going to learn, and it's cool to see them out there extending themselves and working hard. Um, you know, we got King of the Motos out here next weekend, so some of these kids one day will be riding that hard stuff. So congrats to Eric for making it work. No one really complained. They all had a lot of fun, and one of the bigger turnouts. Uh, in that race, we actually had, again, about 30 riders, 19 kids on the Super Minis, which are the bigger bikes, and I think about 12 kids on the Junior Minis, which are the smaller, younger kids on the 85cc bikes. Um, in this race, Braden Bland and Jared Megla had a battle to the finish, back and forth, you know, Braden led the whole way, but Jared would put a tire up, come back, put a tire up, come back, kind of pull in a little bit in the valleys, fall behind in the dust. So there was a good battle up front. Uh, Braden on the Blaze Racing KTM took the win, followed directly behind by Jared Megla, all of five seconds later. In the junior mini class, Mason Mathias took the win and was flying as well. So he looked really good. Younger guy, still on an 85cc, a lot of fun. At the end of the race, Blaze Racing Services, Sammy Banger got on the mic, and let's take a look at what he had to say. I'm Sam Banger here with NHHA with Braden Bland, number one, Jarrett Megla, number two. Um, how was the race? Uh, it was pretty good. It was fast, slow, rocky, everything. It was good. Good. How do you like it? Uh, it was fun. It was really dusty coming through the lappers. Uh, I had to go off the trail a couple times. So was it all clean racing? Yeah. It was all clean racing? Very clean. How about you? Yeah, it was good. So I heard that rock hill over there was pretty gnarly. How was it for you? Uh, it was pretty bad, but I got through it good. So. All right. Well, this is Sam Banger again, reporting from NHHA with number one and number two.
I want to thank everyone for coming out. Again, Eric Kuva did an amazing guys, job. Desert MCs got the backdrop oh, the floor going. Floor They're going to have a charity event tonight. We've got a band playing. Carl's Jr. is here on the side serving burgers all weekend. You know, couldn't ask for more. I think Eric said this was double of what they had last year, which was the first round ever for this youth series. So, you know, keep watching us. We'll have more updates tomorrow. And, again, at every round, we're here live on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you've got a little one that wants to come out and race, bring them out because we've got a class for everyone. See you soon. Thanks so much.